One thing that I absolutely love about photography is the ability to take one raw photo, one photo, and send it to 10 separate people and get completely different looks, a completely different style, uh, mood, feel, vibe, edit, however you wanna call it, but everyone has their own creation and their own way of editing and viewing a photo, and I think that's really, really cool. So I got with one of my friends, and you probably know her. Her name is Vanessa Joy. She is an incredible photographer. I highly recommend you checking her out. And I gave her one of my photos. She gave me one of her photos. And we're gonna go over the results and a little bit of the edits, because the edit took a little bit of time, and we don't want this video to be 18 hours long. But let's get into the video and get started. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Today I have actually a really fun and treat for you. Today we are working with photos with Vanessa Joy. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with her or not, but she is incredible. One of the best photographers I've ever met. She's a Canon ambassador. She's named one of the top photographers by Canon. She has a YouTube channel all of her own that's incredible and she just does incredible work. So we are sharing photos. She sent me one of her raws, I sent her one of her my raws, and we edited each other's photos. And at the end, I'm gonna show you the results, but first we're gonna go through the edits. So let's get into Lightroom, and I'm gonna show you my edit of her photo. All right, so here we are in Lightroom, and this photo was taken on the RF 135 1.8, which I haven't used, so I'm really jealous about this, but this is the photo we're going to be editing. Now the first thing we're gonna do in this photo is we're gonna do some of the healing brushes because I found that if you do the healing brushes before you do the edits, especially using AI masks, it works a lot better. So let's zoom in here to her face and we're just gonna do a small amount of touch up on her face. Nothing crazy, just to kind of clear up some of the blemishes and make it a little bit smoother. Now we're going to do some skin softening here later, but this just kind of helps with it and makes it blend in a little bit more. So not a big deal. So let's just do this real quick. And good, that's good enough. Now let's get into the edit. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crop the image because I wanna make it a little bit different of a framing. So we're gonna make this a little bit smaller and I actually wanna place her on the right rule of thirds to kind of give her a side view like she's going to the left of the screen and then we are going to start editing. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna mix it up. We're gonna change the profile to Adobe Portrait. Good, I just like kind of a look that it gives. Then we're gonna go into the calibration and we're gonna lower this to about minus six, something like that. That's gonna set our blue tone because I want a little bit more teal to orange blend. Good, now let's go into the basic panel and let's start with our basic tones. So first thing, let's set the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. So highlights, we're going to go down to about minus 70, bring some of those details back. We're going to raise the shadows plus 20, and we're going to set the white and black points. So push and hold alter option, click on the slider, and let's raise it until we see a little bit of white. And I'm going to push it a little bit harder. So plus 26 works, and then we're going to do the same with the blacks. And I think we're just going to go to about minus 11, right when I see black. Okay, good. So now here's the before and after, just getting some more details back first things first. Okay, the next thing, we're gonna raise the contrast to about plus 11. Yep, that looks good. And we're going to raise the temperature to just warm it up a little bit. I think we're gonna go to about, yeah, we're gonna push it a little far because we'll adjust it later. So maybe there. And then we're gonna just add a little bit of magenta, not too much. Perfect, I like that. Okay, good. Now let's soften the image a little. Let's lower the clarity to about minus 18 looks good and raise the dehaze to clean up the image just a smidge. Then we're gonna raise the vibrance, bring back some of the colors and lower the saturation. I always like to do that where I raise the vibrance a little and then lower the saturation. It kind of balances the colors. So here is our before and here's our after. So already we're looking really, really good. Now let's go into the tone curve and we're going to keep this really simple. Let's put a point right here, right before the shadows and a point on the midtones. And then all I want to do is raise this a little bit because I want to give that faded look. I've kind of found that I really like this style that gives that like lifted blacks look. For some reason, it just looks incredible to me. So that's all we're going to do there. 
Then we're gonna go into the color mixer and really we're not gonna do much. We're gonna do a very little. All I'm gonna do here is go to the saturation and with the yellows and greens, we're gonna raise this to plus 50 and this one to plus 40. And that's just gonna bring some of the vibrance of the colors in the image and bring them out, really make them pop. Next, we're gonna go into the detail tab where we're gonna do some noise reduction. So make sure color has 25. We're gonna raise the luminance to about 60. This is kind of like a standard thing that I do on almost all my images. Make sure the sharpening is at 40 and then we're gonna raise the mask to 60 as well. And that just dulls down some of the noise in the image. It kind of smooths it out a little. And then finally, we're going to do the effects and we're just gonna put a vignette of minus eight. Perfect. Now, that we've done those basic things, where the photo will really come alive is in the masks. First thing we're gonna do is open the masks and we're gonna do our subject first. So select subject. And I always like to rename them so I know what I'm working with. So double click on it and press sub. And what we're going to do here, we're gonna raise the exposure to about 18 and we're going to lower the saturation just a little bit. That's where we're gonna take out some of that orange color so she's not too much. Now we're going to click on the little dots and we're gonna press duplicate and invert, creating a background mask that's exactly opposite to our subject. Now we could just go select background, but sometimes it chooses other pieces. We want it to just be an exact opposite. Rename this, I just put BG for background, and we're just gonna raise the background exposure to about 85. That way it kind of balances a little. We're almost looking kind of like a film set in my opinion, and I think it's looking really, really good. Next, we're going to do her skin. So select people, click person one. We're going to do facial and body skin. Press create mask, go to our custom, and go to soften skin light. Now this, usually I do soften skin light because it's not as aggressive as soften skin, but you choose whichever one you want. And then I'm not gonna adjust the, this part here, which is the amount of it that it's applying. I'm just gonna leave it at 100. Then let's rename this skin. So the next mask we're gonna do is her eyes because I want you to look at this. This girl has stunning, stunning eyes and we want to emphasize those. So create mask, go to select people. We're gonna click her and then we're gonna choose iris and pupil, create mask, go to our custom. We're gonna go to iris enhance. Now it actually enhances it too much to where it looks too unrealistic. So we're actually gonna lower this to about 60%. But look at that, I mean, that looks incredible. And then let's rename that eyes, eyes, eyes. Perfect, okay, good. Uh, and then the next mask we're gonna do is her teeth. So select people and click her, select teeth, create mask, go up here to custom and do teeth whitening, perfect. Now we've done all of those and it's looking even better. And the last couple we're gonna do is first press M on the keyboard for a linear gradient. We're just gonna raise this right here, click and hold Alter Option to intersect, click Select Subject, and we're just going to lower this a little bit, that way the attention goes up. And then we're gonna do Shift M for a radial gradient. We're just gonna put it around her, just like that. Click Invert, and then lower the exposure just a shade, not too much, just to pull attention to her. And then finally, we're gonna press K on the keyboard and we're gonna just do a little bit of burning just to highlight some of the dark parts and give her some more intensity. So just like that, around her eyes, perfect, nose, a little bit of the mouth, and then we're going to just do a smidge here on the neck, avoid that dark spot, just to enhance the jawline a little bit. And we're gonna lower this to just a little, because if you do too much, it's gonna look bad. So we're just gonna go to about minus 23. Okay, that looks good. But look at the difference with this one, before, after. It's not much, but it really does add such an incredible dimension, I guess, to the photo. All right, so here we go. Here's the before, and here is the after. I love it. Honestly, there's one th tweak I would make is just raise the exposure just a shade. Ooh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that just brings some life back into it. And then last, we're just gonna adjust that linear gradient here and not darken it as much. Okay, good, and then drop the exposure just about. 0.10 points. There we go. Oh, 
Yes, absolutely love it. There it is, there's my image. Love to hear what you think. Now let's get into Vanessa's image and see what she can do. My name is Vanessa Joy McKinnon, explorer of light and will, thought it'd be a great idea. And actually I've had this idea before, so I'm glad he asked to have a video where we edit each other's photos. Editing is endless, so it can really go anywhere. Let's see where this goes. All right, well, I'm excited to dive into your photo. I just like seeing raw images. I mean, I know what the final image looks like from your point of view, how you wanted to pull it back, but now I'm just gonna have some fun with this. So we're plopping it into Lightroom first. I'm gonna go ahead over to my presets to see if anything jumps at, oh, black and white. Black and white always jumps out at me. That's just, it's like a sickness, really. Oh, let's go. I think I'm gonna end up with over the joint. Over the joy. All right, then let's go over here. I like to see a little bit of sky. I don't know that we're gonna get it here. All right, let's pump up these shadows. And I know some people work in the curves. I tend to work in uh, my sliders here. I know it's a weird thing. I wanna get a little less clarity, a little more vibrance. And let's play with those greens. And I do see like this little purple happening up here. So let's go saturation and hue. I'm going to take my greens more to yellows here. Uh, yeah, give this like a fiery look. Let's go ahead and mess with the luminance. Let's bump up that. Good. And then I want to get rid of this blue. See the blue all over the place? You only see it when you slide it. I don't mind it in her dress. We could get into masking, but I usually don't go that crazy. Back to my mixer. I want to keep her skin tones a little more natural. Cool. This looks good to me. Mm. Yeah, still taking out more of that blue. Don't worry, we'll bring her eyes back later. Cool. All right, let's export this. This is how I do. We're going to come here. We're going to throw it on the desktop. And let's open up Evoto. And I just want to do a wee bit of retouching. Let's go for more of a natural look. Mm -hmm. Pop over here and let's go ahead and mess with her eyes. Definitely need to brighten up the colors of her eyes and add a little bit of catch light. I think I want to go with this one is one of my favorite catch lights. Just add more color. Don't think she has any red veins to remove, so we should be good. I think we just need some under eye circles. Yep. Cool. <gasps> May pull it out. She looks way too bright on her eyes. That looks good. So let's see. Before. After. She has have some freckles I want to bring back. Just a wee bit. All right, so that's how I would edit your photo. Let me know what you think. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did because I personally love watching other photographers edit. I find that I learn so much more than if I was just trying to do it myself. I learn different techniques, methods, ways, things other people do, you know, all these different things that you wouldn't learn on your own. So let me show you the before and afters real quick. So here is the raw image of my photo and the two edits. Here is the raw image of her photo and the two edits. And I would love to hear what you think in the comments. So let me know. Also, don't forget to go check out Vanessa because she's amazing and you will learn so much from her as well as don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're a photographer and want to edit some photos, get in touch with me. Find me on Instagram, send me a message. Let's talk. Other than that, if you want to watch some more stuff, YouTube recommends that video. I recommend this video and I will see you next week. See ya.